Hello, this is a video about character type in C++. Uh, here is the type type name. So we are creating a variable a which is a type character type. And we can set it to some character here. So this is the way we 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 write a character like this. Now we might ask that uh, how is this stored in a computer memory this one how does the computer store this value well this this r uh, it, uh, computer only knows uh, numbers obviously uh, and in the, uh, deep in the deep in the computer there we have only zeros and ones so the computer is obviously not gonna put uh, magically put this R somehow to the in, to the to the RAM memory. It's gonna convert this this one here to an integer. And how do we know what which one integer it is? One way we could do here is that we can. I will take out this one for now. We could just force it to integer like this. Uh, I will first print it like it is. And we will see. So this uh, C out is able to know that this is a character variable, and it's able to print it as an as an R as a R. So let's see that one first. So when I'm running this, we get R here. But we can also know that what is the corresponding integer value for that, which which the computer will use to store this value in the memory because it can't it can't store it as an r it must have a corresponding integer which it with which it with store so there's a mapping that r will be mapped to some integer so we can put here int this will convert this one to a to an integer value and let's run this and we can see that the integer value for r is uh, one one four. There is a website website here where we can see all the all the all the values here. And if we go to this first first column here, this one is the integer value. And for example, what we just found that R is one one four, we can find it from here. So one one four is R as we can see. So this R has integer value one, one, 114. So when the computer stores this R into the memory, it uses the value 114. But when, when it shows it on a computer, when we are asking to show this R on a computer as a character, then the computer will print R unless we force it to print the corresponding integer, something like this. Let's go back to the back to this this table here. So here we have all the all the possible characters we can use. And as we can see, um, here we have, have for example A B A B C D E F G. And as we can see, they are all following each others like this. So so A plus one will be B. So the value of A, the integer value of A is ninety seven. So if we add 1 to 97, we will get 98, which is B. So B plus 1 will be 90, 99, so that will give us C. So we can mix them, kind of, we can mix them sometimes, and sometimes we need this, because we know that we are interested about the order here many times. So we can be sure that adding 1 to A gives us B. But maybe even more importantly we are interested about the the um, number characters because numbers also have characters. So character 0 its integer value is 48. This could be this can be a little bit confusing that uh, isn't this isn't this 0. No it's not this is a character 0. It's not the same thing. It's a character 0. So character 1 its integer value is 90, uh, 49. So this is handy because we can, uh, we can. It's guaranteed that they are they are in an order here. 
So first 0, then 1, and last one 9. So if we add 1 to 0, we are guaranteed to get the character 1, because 48 plus 1 is 49, and the corresponding character will be 1. So this is a good thing to know, know here. And one thing here is this null character here, which is used very much with strings. So here are some uh, some special characters. Then we can see. And um, for example, we have this 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 line feed, which is used very much. So so this downhill and n will give. Uh, uh, next line, which would be like this. So now, if I if I add this one here, and if I print this one, it will it will put the it will do a return. Let's see how it works. I will run this now, and we can see that there is a return here, and this one here is printed on the next line here. If I put the T here, that will mean a tabulator, tabulator character, so that will do one tabulator. So let's see that one, and as we can see, there is a tabulator here, and then one. So this C out now knows that, aha, this is a tabulator character, so it's gonna do a one tabulator here, and then print one. Obviously, we can, obviously we can, we can we can print here many tabulators. This will print two tabulators and then one. Let's try that one. And as we can see now, it's uh, the space is longer now. This is two tabulators and then we are printing one. So let's now print, uh, lastly, one more thing. Let's, if we want to print high, for example, we could do like this: A is H and B is I. And now we can say here A, and then we can print B here. This should print high. Now, let's print this and run. And there is the high. So it it prints the first character A, and then it prints the second uh, character B which is i and that's it so this is this is a simple tutorial about characters thank you for watching